Welcome to Real Talk. The real estate landscape across the country continues to change and evolve every day. Technology is advancing at a rapid pace and innovative business practices are shaping our industry. Another trend that continues to grow is the formation of real estate teams. Joining me today are Sam Grogan and Wendy Dickinson, the two lead agents from the number one team in the Carolinas, Best in the Carolinas. They have graciously agreed to take some time out of their busy day to share what they have learned about being a team and building a successful business. By the way, congratulations for surpassing the $50 million mark so far this year. Thank you. Thank you. So how long have you been a team and what led to your decision to form a team, Wendy? So we've been together for about 17 years and it actually kind of happened on accident. In the beginning, Sam had just gotten Coldwell Banker onto the Lending Tree account, which for those of you who've been in the business as long as we have, it was a huge account at the time and there was leads coming in so fast he couldn't keep up with them. So he needed somebody to partner up with and help him capture the account. Wow, 17 years is a long time. Yeah, we're, we're old. So <laughs> tell me how your team has changed over those 17 years. Uh, well, it started out just the two of us, and uh, with that lending train deal, we were getting 1,000 to 1,100 leads a month that we were having to go through. Um, so that lasted for a couple years. Lending Tree changed their program a little bit. Um, that kind of faded off, but by that point, we had built a pretty good business. Um, we had um, one of our clients, uh, Joe Stanfield, uh, ex expressed some interest in getting into the business, and it just seemed like a natural fit. Uh, so he became number three uh, and then Gloria Walsh had been in our relocation department for the better part of 10 years or so. Um, she decided to get out of relocation and again we were all friends. Um, I actually bought uh, a house that she owned was my first home purchase and so that just seemed like another um, nice fit. So do you identify annual goals and objectives for your team or do business planning? Tell me a little bit about how you, you formulate your plan for the year. We do. We have minimum requirements that we all that we set across the board for everybody, Sam and I included. Um, and then everybody sets also a goal that they'd like to hit. And so those goals obviously change and develop over the years. Do you feel that operating a team requires a larger financial investment than running a single business or financially for those who are thinking of building a team, what do they need to be thinking about? Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a lot to it um, from a branding standpoint. So, you know, we take care of um, all of the, the marketing materials, events that we do. Um, we have um, our assistant in place that our team has access to. Um, so there is somewhat of an additional expense and um, uh, exposure, uh, but it's all very rewarding and, and the return is, is financially as good as well. There are some wonderful things about having a team, but there have to be some challenges as well. As well. Tell me, what do you struggle with? Probably the biggest challenge is figuring out what everyone's motivation is and what everyone's goals are because everybody's not in it for the same reasons, everybody doesn't work for the same reasons, and everybody has different things that get them excited. So it's just kind of figuring out what works for everybody and embracing that that's important to them and kind of moving forward in it and trying to help them achieve their goals, whatever they are. It seems like you laugh and have a lot of fun as you do your business. Yeah, most times. We have a great job and we appreciate that and we know that. And I think it's for real estate or anything else you're doing, if you don't enjoy what you do, you're not gonna be successful at it and you're gonna be miserable, so why not have fun? Thank you for being so generous with your time today. If you are looking to join a team or start a team, your leadership team is here to help. Thank you for watching Real Talk. We'll see you next time.